You write on page 66, in an age of speed, I begin to think nothing could be more exhilarating than going slow. <laughs> yes. In an age of distraction, nothing can feel more luxurious than paying attention. And in an age of constant movement, nothing is more urgent than sitting still. You can go on vacation to Paris or Hawaii or New Orleans three months from now, and you'll have a tremendous time, I'm sure. But if you want to come back feeling new, alive, full of fresh hope and in love with the world, I think the place to visit may be nowhere. Uh, yeah, and I often think we're most happy when we forget the time, when we're completely absorbed in the conversation or a movie or a piece of music. And what we really crave is intimacy, it seems to be, and kindness, as you said. And again, they found surveys that when somebody is standing in the street with a hand extended in need, mm -hmm. and people are walking past or stopping to talk to that person, the one factor that determines whether they'll stop and help the person or not is not income or background or race or any of that. It's just whether they have the time or not. And if you don't have time, you don't have enough kindness in your life. You don't have the chance to open yourself up, I think. Sister Joan Chittister encourages us to take a second look at the faith we thought we knew. It's not necessary for us to rethink the existence of God. We've all had moments in our personal or professional lives when it becomes difficult to stay motivated. Erica Diamond is with us to share how to stay inspired. She's a life coach and the founder and editor-in-chief of the highly successful blog, Women on the Fence.